Hello and welcome to the Nelson Ranch Information Session. I'm glad that you are joining us today to talk about this wonderful opportunity to attend the International Christian University in Japan. My name is Fernando Rojas and I'm the Program Manager at the Japan ICU Foundation. To start off, what is the Nelson Ranch Scholarship? It's a brand new scholarship that was established this year. The scholarship is a full scholarship that to attend the International Christian University in Tokyo, Japan for up to four years of undergraduate study. It's not a semester abroad. It's not a one year abroad. It's for four full years of undergraduate study for you to receive your bachelor's degree at ICU. And it's awarded annually to one US citizen. And I'll go over the eligibility later on. So what is ICU? ICU stands for International Christian University. It was, it's a four-year liberal arts college that is in Tokyo, Japan, in the city of Mitaka, which is about 20 minutes west of uh, Shinjuku Station. It was founded in 1953 as a project of reconciliation between the American and Japanese Christian communities. Today, there are about 3,000 undergraduate students of which around 15% of the students are international, meaning non-Japanese. But even amongst the nearly 85% who are Japanese, many have either lived or studied abroad. So ICU does indeed have a very international profile. Likewise, 37% of the faculty are non-Japanese. And like the students, the other 63% of faculty who are Japanese usually have received their uh, PhDs or terminal uh, uh, degrees uh, outside of Japan, either in the US, uh, North America, Europe, um, or Asia. And what makes IC unique is that it is a liberal arts college. Many of you might be familiar with the liberal arts um, college model. Um, since many of you um, are either currently in a liberal arts college or are looking to attend uh, after graduating from high school. And I'll talk a little bit about um, what makes uh, this liberal arts college model unique in Japan. Uh, but before moving on, I'd like to mention that ICU has been ranked as the number one private university in the Times Higher Education Japan University rankings for four of the last five years. So. If you're curious about the quality of education and the reputation of ICU, it's ranked very high amongst Japanese universities. So as I mentioned, what makes ICU unique is that it is a liberal arts college. It was founded and follows the American tradition of a liberal arts education. Many Japanese univers at many Japanese universities, you have to decide what you want to study prior to ap applying for a college. So you have to first figure out what you want to major in and then find the department that, that has your major and apply to that department. And there's very little room for you to change. Of course, um, following the American liberal arts model, ICU really cares about students having a broad knowledge in a variety of subjects. Therefore, just like you would at an American liberal arts college, you do not have to choose your major until the end of your second year. In fact, uh, students are encouraged to take a wide variety of courses in the first two years of their study. And at the end of the second year, you have a choice to either major in one of these 31 majors. You could also do a double major, or you could do a major and a minor. The majority of these majors are single discipline studies, but ICU does have several that are multidisciplinary, meaning that they take the, you know, they com they're comprised of courses in the, se uh, across several disciplines. And those are the ones that are in with the checkered boxes. So that's what makes IC unique amongst other universities. There have been more liberal arts colleges recently, but ICU was the first in Japan. The other feature that makes ICU unique is this bilingual education. Many Japanese universities have an uh, English track for its international English-speaking students. And while there are some benefits for that, 
um, ICU does not follow that model. In fact, ICU believes that in order that believes in having a classroom where there are a mix of Japanese and international students. In order to make this possible, ICU stresses language proficiency. And so therefore, uh, in the first two years of study, all, all students must gain proficiency in their non-native language. This means that Japanese students must take, must enroll in the English language program and improve their English language abilities in order to be able to take classes taught in English. Likewise, international students who are native English speakers must join the Japanese language program and gain enough proficiency in order to be able to take coursework in Japanese. And this enables all classes to have a mix of both Japanese and international students. Now, prior knowledge of Japanese is not required for international students, although if you already are studying that, studying Japanese, you have a leg up. And as I mentioned before, general education courses and specialized courses, these are meaning the courses offered at ICU are offered in both languages. However, 31% of the courses are offered in English, meaning that 69% are offered in Japanese. So it is especially important for international students to improve their Japanese language abilities. Please know, however, that faculty are aware that in any given class, there is a mix of Japanese and international students, international students who have a variety of, uh, of linguistic abilities in the language of the course that's uh, in the language of the course that is being taught um, and they are willing to make accommodations to help those students so that includes that that may mean that the professor allows you to submit coursework in your native language or perhaps they provide uh, material summaries of the class material for you in your the language so you can follow so faculty are very um, aware and are very accommodating in that sense. So what is JICUF? So my organization, the Japanese, the Japan IC Foundation um, is the administrator of this scholarship. We are a nonprofit organization based in New York City. And there you see the, a shot of our building um, on the Upper West Side of, of New York City. And we were founded a few years before ICU in 1949. And as I mentioned before, ICU is a project of reconciliation between the American and Japanese Christian communities. And JICUF is the American part. JICUF ran the fundraising campaign amongst Christians, Christian communities across the US to send money back to Japan to establish ICU. And ever since our founding, we have supported ICU by providing funding for scholarships, grants, programs, and buildings. And the Nelson Ranch Scholarship is no exception. So now, what does the scholarship cover? The scholarship um, is designed to allow a student with significant financial need to attend ICU. This is a stipulation given by the donor who um, generously uh, provided the funding for the scholarship and it covers the following expenses for up to four years. It covers tuition and matriculation fees, which can range up to $12,000 a year. It provides on-campus accommodations, which the, which the university provides for you. You are guaranteed accommodation for all four years of your undergraduate study. And to the right of this slide, you'll see um, one of the newer dorms, the Momi and Maple dorms. So you could see what, what sort of um, one of our the newer dorms that were built on campus. The scholarship also provides a monthly stipend for living expenses. The amount is still to be determined, but we will it will be enough for you to not have to worry about um, daily expenses. And finally, the scholarship provides airfare at the start and end of your study. So we'll provide an airfare for you uh, when you start when you when you enroll at ICU, and then at the end, when you, after you've graduated from ICU. 
eligibility. So all applicants must be a United States citizen. One particular um, uh, um, qualification is that applicants with Japanese dual citizenships are unfortunately not eligible to apply. The reasoning is that those with Japanese citizenship or nationality have a variety of financial aid options available to them from the Japanese government. If you are interested in these, if, if this applies to you and you're interested in knowing what these opportunities are, please just reach out to us later. The applicant must also be committed to Christianity. And in the application form, you will be asked specifically um, to describe how your Christian faith has impacted your life and your future goals. We will be asked what role does Christian faith play in your academic pursuits, how it has influenced your community involvement, what, uh, why it, what's the importance of Christian leadership in today's society, uh, and how your Christian faith has helped you overcome challenges in your life. These are some of the prompts that are in the application form. And this is, again, um, a, uh, 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 something that we are looking for for this scholarship. We are also looking, applicants must also demonstrate financial, uh, financial need. And these are, and we assess this through the documentation that we are asking for in the application. And this includes um, the tax forms, W-2s, pay stubs, as well as the uh, FAFSA student aid report that I'm sure many of you have already generated given that um, it's, it's, it's the time to do so. So it takes a lot of work to get these documents together and I hope that you have already started to um, work on gathering everything. Now, applicants may apply as either first year. So if you are a graduating senior, if you're going to graduate in 2024, you are eligible to, you, are, you will apply as a first year. Um, you may also apply as a transfer student. So if you're in your, an associate's program or in your, in your first year of your undergraduate, you may apply as a transfer student. And the duration of support for a transfer student depends on the year that they matriculate at ICU. Here's the timeline briefly. Um, so the application is already open and will close on November 1st. So in a little over a month. So I hope that um, you have already started um, writing your essays. Um, there are three essays there. There is a, a short essay on a topic. Um, there is a brief person, there's, and there's two personal statements, one about your Christian faith and then another one about your motivation to study at ICU. So after the application closes, we will review the documents that I've submitted and invite a select group of, uh, we will invite a few of the applicants for full, for interviews to discuss not only uh, their motivation to go to ICU, but also uh, any information that was found in the application. And finally, by mid-December, you will be notified whether you have been selected for the scholarship. So um, that's briefly what this scholarship is about. And I really hope that you um, that you consider applying for this wonderful opportunity to, to um, study at ICU. It really is a, um, a, a incredible environment and I encourage you to uh, visit ICU if, when, if you are ever in Japan. Um, if you want more information about the scholarship, just go to the JSF website. Uh, jsuf.org slash Nelson Ranch, and you can always email me, at, email us at information at jsuf.org for more information.